Hi guys, Irit here, and today I have a special treat for you. So Tracy Banks, the awesome Mercy Tiara, and I are collaborating um, on these uh, few videos. And this whole thing started from a comment she received um, that someone wrote that uh, she has all the equipment, but she doesn't actually scrap or doesn't find the time to scrap or the mojo or anything so we thought we would attempt to um, kind of get you going and we chose to go with mini kits so we're each going to approach this our own way uh, you know depending on our style and our um, whole uh, process and we're going to post three videos this is the first one and this explains how we assembled our products our mini kit and then we will each um, post two process videos showing how we use our mini kit so the point is that you do the same um, watch us assembling our kits and then go to your stash and grab um, the same things as we did or similar things or whatever works for you and then on the weekend we will um, use these products so you can scrap along now my videos will be um, fast forwarded so you can't completely um, scrap along but uh, hopefully this will get you going okay guys so the way i am going to approach this is to go for my staples my go-to products designs and um yeah, the, the point here is not necessarily to challenge myself, but just to, you know, make layouts. So I started with these two photos. I'm going to do two layouts with uh, these products. And um, I want to do kind of a currently um, type of layout. So I'm going to do... Um, a layout for each one of my daughters and kind of write uh, what they are up to at the moment what their favorite stuff is and that sort of thing so my first recommendation is to start with the photos now I am just sharing what works for me so for other people it might be start with a product and then kind of start their design process and then bring uh, photos but I think this will make things uh, simpler for me. So, two photos. Um, 12 by 12, my go-to is white cardstock. So I have two pieces of white cardstock. And then I have this piece of uh, lovely um, pink, light pink uh, cardstock. And I kind of think it works with all the other colors. I might challenge myself. I like how this photo looks um, with it. So, I don't know, I'll try to incorporate it. I wanted something a little bit um, different and that's it. I'm not going to pull any 12 by 12 pattern papers and you'll see what else I got. So I am kind of attacking this in two <laughs> ways. Um, I have here, okay, first thing first, I'm using all rather new or pretty new stuff in my stash um, I love new products that really inspires me gets me excited to make layouts so the point is to make layouts now not to challenge myself so I brought um, a selection of the newest stuff in my uh, stash and what I have here is the 6x6 paper pad by the new Paige Evans collection Take Me Away and that is a lot of pattern for two layouts but it's new and fun and um, yeah I want to use it uh, we'll see how it works throughout my process and also I have these um, what are these called wild heart 
accent and phrase stickers, uh, also from the same collection. And I love chipboard, it's my favorite embellishment. Um, these have some words which makes titling uh, really easy. And yeah, I really wanted to use these. And then I also pulled a few things from my current um, Hip Kit Club kit. Now, you can do this if you have kits, but you can also just pull from your stash. I just got this with my kit, and I already made a few lay layouts with my kit, but I still have a ton of stuff left. Um, so, and I haven't used, well, barely anything from this. You can see only like these two pieces, and I really love it, and I love the vibe and the whole whimsical feel. And again, I love chipboard, so, um, that's what I'm going for, my staples, my favorites, my go-tos. And then I also pulled pretty much almost all of my leftovers from the layouts that I have made so far with the September hip kits. And there's a lot of pattern paper in the kits, but I picked... I think the layouts that I created mostly have soft colors and those are the ones I picked because I want soft colors. I like how these pictures look with um, the soft colors, maybe with the exception of the pop um, of this yellow that is in the papers, uh, in the embellishments, and it's also in this um, line. You can see some uh, pops of yellow. So, but other than that, I just took the scraps of the soft colors. Um, see this other, this side is kind of soft, um, even though it's like a dark uh, blue, but it's a very small uh, pattern. So I think the overall feel of it is still uh, rather light and calm, to me at least. And then the other side has some more of that yellow if I want. I do like that, um, that pop of yellow with this photo. This one I like with all the blues and uh, pinks and that sort of thing. Now, if you don't uh, have a leftover kit or something like that, then you can grab um, another 6x6 paper pad if you feel the need, or just grab your um, scrap basket and grab a few papers, the ones that, um, you know, jump at you first and seem to work with your photos, and go with those. Now, this kind of brings us to the other um, products that we can use, like alphas and embellishments. Now, I know my process really well, and I scrapbook a lot, and I know that if I bring in now um, alphas, it's going to just take me unnecessary time, and I might not use them, or I might need something else. I really need to see how the design is coming together, and my title and all that to bring in uh, more alphas and the smaller type embellishments. I could bring now also from the kit, you know, we got some enamel dots and the colors kind of work. Yeah, the yellow definitely works. Yeah, maybe pretty much everything besides the dark blue that I'm just not a huge fan of, uh, especially for what I have in mind here. Um, so I could bring that, but I know how I work and I know I'll need probably kind of specific things and specific colors so I'm just leaving that to the end and that's okay you know you don't have to get every little piece of thing and then you're not allowed to go to your stash um, the point is to make things flow and yeah you really need to know how you think and how you design and the more you scrapbook, I think the, the easier it will become. So this is what I'm going to start with. I'm going to make two layouts. Um, please grab your um, product. You can follow my lead and, you know, go with similar things like white cardstock and some scraps, six by six paper pad, and then maybe two packages of embellishments you're excited about. Um, or if you prefer, then, you know, go further and choose already like one or two sets of alpha that you like and um, you can see what coordinates with, for example, this. So you could go for like a gold one and um, yeah, maybe some minty ones. So 
just see what works with um, your other products and maybe bring a couple of smaller embellishments or an ephemera pack if you have uh, one of the ephemera packs from this collection. So just keep it, you know, relatively small and kind of think about the amount of stuff you use on a layout. Um, you don't want now like five packages of chipboard pieces and three packages of ephemera because this again makes things complicated and time consuming. So leave me a comment if you have any questions and I will see you in the process videos. Thanks for watching.